As a proud Dutch guy, I don't like spending more money on anything than I have to. However, this idea of not spending money has gotten me into trouble from time to time. One of those times happened when I tried saving money on a hotel stay. You see, Jamie was about nine months pregnant at the time, and there was a snowstorm brewing. We had an early doctor's appointment the very next day in Kansas City. With those factors, Jamie thought it was best to get a hotel in Kansas City for the night. She was right. I thought it was best to get the cheapest hotel possible. I was less right. After checking in, we were welcomed with a smell that wasn't pleasing for me, much less a nine-month pregnant woman. Two twin beds in which you could feel every single spring, and a television without a remote or a way to turn it on. The only good news was that I did learn a lesson that night. But as much as I don't like spending money on myself, I really wouldn't want to spend money on one of my enemies. And yet, that's what Jesus did. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, But God demonstrated his own love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The thing is, God didn't show his love for us by offering the least expensive thing he could think of, or by searching for the very best deal he could find. He gave his most prized possession, his one and only perfect son for us, even before we loved him. And that should encourage us to do the same. So my challenge for you this week is to think about someone who is difficult for you to love. Then pray that God would show you what it looks like to love that person with everything you have.